pregnant. Yes, it felt weird for me. God, even when I was not showing, I felt like everybody knew I was pregnant. And I just felt like, oh, this mother of yesterday now, everybody knows that, oh, yeah, this is what is making people get pregnant. <laughs> oh, my God. And there's just that evidence like, ah, ah, you too, eh? Ah, ah. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back thank you for watching the last video please if you're new on my channel please do well to subscribe and to everyone watching please do well to like share and also drop your comments thank you so much thank you so much to everyone who watched the last part of this video and if you've not watched the last part it would be nice of you to actually like watch the part one before watching this or you watch this and you go and watch the part one since the question and answer kind of video. Okay, I'm going to be doing like the part two of the video, the last video that I made. I was, I was answering questions that I was asked about pregnancy and all. I actually like the second part because it's the question has some kind of it has some questions that are, are kind of interesting. And um Okay, guys let's just go into the video so today the first question we have here is the place of privacy what stage did you inform your families you were both expecting a baby okay so um we actually informed them quite early why because we know that our families like they have that boundary like nobody's gonna Post notes or try to so just to them there was basically no reason to like keep them in the dark or wait till because I've had story of people who until they gave birth they didn't tell their parents they didn't tell their friends we actually like told close people we only told like close friends close families and people every other person found out when they found out probably the room watchers because I feel like when there's a new couple like people just automatically feel like Oh, she's pregnant. So even when your smack is big, or big from probably you are feeling bloated, everybody feels like you're pregnant. Like there's just this expectation that comes when you're a newlywed couple, and people are just expecting that oh, she's pregnant, she's pregnant. So any small symptom, any small thing they are showing, even if you're not pregnant, you're pregnant. So we informed our friends and family early enough. I think probably at seven weeks or so six weeks. I can't remember. Like. Our family shared, they, they found out like at the first trimester, yes, and it was actually very interesting, like going on that journey with them, like everybody were involved, checking up and all that. So yes, and I feel like it's just left to you, like it's left to you and your partner. And if for your sanity, because I feel like when people are they are justified by not telling their family and friends, if you have like a concrete reason, like I just feel like it's it's your baby. Nobody should dictate when you tell them, like, you can tell them whenever you want to tell them. So, yeah, that's, that's just what I'm going to say. There's no time frame, actually, for when you have to tell people that you're expecting a baby. It's left to you and your partner. But I feel it's always very lovely when you have, like, close family and friends walk through that journey with you. The support, the expectations, the excitement, and everything in between that comes with family, close family and friends knowing that a baby is on the way. Charlie is your first. Second question How do you feel with people's reaction to getting pregnant and also married? Okay, I think I made um, a shot concerning this whole marriage something like um what nobody says um, about planning a wedding. I it felt very awkward for me, like when I was getting married, because it felt like oh this small girl is getting married, how I felt and the fact that the attention was on me, oh everybody yao yao. Even after the wedding, I was still feeling very awkward. Like I am quite shy. Might not be so obvious, but I am. I can be quite shy. So it felt somehow like I felt weird for the longest time. <laughs> I don't think I got used to it. I think the whole thing just weird off. Like it faded off. Like okay, I'm no longer the new yahoo new yahoo thing. So it felt weird for me. And being pregnant, yes, it felt weird for me. God. Even when I was not showing, I felt like everybody knew I was pregnant. And I just felt like, oh, this mother of yesterday now, everybody knows that, oh, yeah, this is what is making people get pregnant. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, I don't, it felt awkward, honestly, like, for the first few, even until I gave it, I think I stopped feeling awkward when I was, like, 
quite early, but at the beginning, like the starting stage, if that English is correct, when my stomach started getting obvious that oh she's pregnant, oh my god, it was weird for me. It was very very weird. I felt like everybody were looking at me like oh this small girl, and I feel like in Nigeria there's just this look of and the people that killed you with their eyes like this small girl is pregnant before they even look at your hand that you are married and i feel like even if i am not married like please don't condemn me with your eyes so if i wait honestly i won't lie if you wait i am serious i remember telling my friend and she was just laughing because <sighs> like there's just the evidence like ah ah you too eh ah ah <laughs> okay yeah that was just yeah can you feel it Okay, so the third question. How were you supportive to your partner in times when he was so tired of everything? Okay, so when I saw this question, I asked my husband, oh, I'm sure I know that there were times when he was tired, when he was feeling down and all. But it was honestly can be quite overwhelming, especially for a new couple to try to like get their balance. But the funny thing is my husband didn't really show it. We talk about a lot of things, but I feel like he felt like at that period I was going through I was doing a lot already. So he didn't want to um like add to what I was doing. Which I wouldn't have mind. So but to be honest, I was a very, very considerate pregnant woman. I was very considerate on my husband's pocket because I understand I understand our, our um I understood our current position at that time and we're expecting a baby and I just couldn't be doing you know and the fact that my pregnancy was quite easy I feel like that was a blessing on its own. I don't know. I was just I was actually like very considerate. I was very considerate in that in that aspect. Very considerate and even though even with that it still told me it felt overwhelming. I feel like it's just a man's thing like wants to provide wants to give me everything that i want at that time and when you're not able to do it you know there's this feeling that just comes with it so yeah that's it okay obviously privacy is key but how were you able to handle or oh, this question is actually funny but it is actually like something that really happens obviously privacy is key but how were you able to handle all those church people that talk so much about your pregnancy so i feel like what she was trying to say here is that you know like People just like especially people they are not so close to when they just feel like they could I, like make some comments, talk or just say some things out of oh we are joking or I don't know. But I just feel like okay, a particular one happened and I told my friend like witness was even more angrier than I me that even make it so I made this story. I just feel like you just move it off and the people you can actually correct, I feel like you should actually like take it upon yourself to actually correct them so that next time they are more cautious of what they are going to say to you they are more cautious of if you are not friends please calm down yeah i think i think i don't know if i've done justice to this answer but i just feel like overlooking a lot of times and people you can put in their place respectfully you should actually do that and i feel for me like i just feel like for me naturally there's just this boundary like I feel people can sense the boundary, even like, I'm not talking about just being pregnant, I feel like generally, like, people tend not to, like, overstep their boundaries when it comes to, like, you don't mind asking me a stupid question, like, why did I, like, probably end the relationship, or what happened, I, I've never, I've had, like, people talking behind, like, oh, my friends come and tell me, that, oh, so, so person said this, or so, so people said this, but they don't, they, they never have the F1 trip to, like, walk up to me to actually, like, ask those questions, because it's really not worth their business. Yes.
they can ask how was my prayer life or during pregnancy was i able to fast so i would i plan making like i said in the last video i plan making a video on how my prayer how, how i was able to sustain my prayer life even if it wasn't so it wasn't as smooth as it should be i wasn't able to pray as much as i would want to pray because i was i was doing a lot I wasn't able to do as much as I wanted, and I, I, I would not advise a pregnant woman to fast. Like, why? Number one, if you want to injure yourself, please don't injure the baby that is in you. And number two, the baby in you needs all the nutrients that you, that they can get. And another thing that I know about pregnancy is that if you refuse to give your baby what your baby wants, your baby is going to take it from you, and the other guy is going to suffer. Like, then you start feeling dizzy, one thing after the other, because your baby just has to take the nutrients that they need. So now imagine if before getting pregnant, you are not as healthy as you're supposed to be, and you're not still eating. Like, wisdom is applicable to direct. You are pregnant, there is really no need to fast. Even as a nursing mother, I know people that fast like 5 to 12. Even sometimes, as a nursing mother, when you wake up, you are so hungry. So you can't even say you want to fast. And there's some hunger that will, that will hook you. But you are not seen. You will you, you never think about fasting. But well, during those process, like I was still conscious. Yes, is it process? During those process, <laughs> I was still conscious of my relationship with God and how I really wanted to sustain it. So I did some things. So that those are things I would be sharing in the other video. Yeah. If, if your age ever surprised people at the hospital, well, I don't know. I don't know because they never made me look like a small girl like the respect was there the respect was there and everything so yes i never they never gave me that impression of a little girl or something how did you feel after labor and delivery were you able to walk well ah i felt relieved <laughs> i felt relieved <laughs> As much as I loved and enjoyed having my baby, feeling my baby's kids and all that, I felt relieved that I had to leave out. Like, guys, you don't want to know the anxiety that comes with, ah, is this baby fine? Is this baby okay? How is he doing? How is he doing? Blah, blah, blah. Like, you are, everything during pregnancy is on God. Like, your baby, the safety of your baby, your safety, everything, your organ, like, everything is on God. So, ah, I feel like, I feel relieved, honest. Like at least I can see this baby now. Even when the baby is here, yes, God is still the one helping me watch over him. But at least now I can see is he fine? Is he okay? But when he's inside, like it was just like a guesswork, a guesswork, and the anxiety and the <laughs> everything was just so I felt relieved and I was I was weak, very, very weak. I was very, 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 very weak. Yes. I was so weak because guys, I was on the battlefield. <laughs> I was very weak after delivery, honestly. Like after I was done beating, I even remember I was when they brought water. The a nurse had to like help me beat. Like she had to pour water on me. I had to sit down. I had to sit. She had to pour water on me. Like the hospital I used top notch. Like very nice people, right from antenatal to everything. Very, 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 very nice people. When I take it again, which is not now, please God, I beg. Which is not now. Which is not this year. I don't know. Please God. But, and if you are still around this place, or even if you are not around this place, and it's possible to be driving down from Atlanta, like, into my new bed, I don't mind coming down with, like, they're actually very nice, like, very nice, very, very nice. Like, random prayers, left and right, even during Atlanta and everything, like, people that will, because people had to, like, you know, they work on shift, had to go home, and in, she practically told me, like, she's actually a Muslim, she told me that she was praying for me when she got home. She was hoping that she would be around when I give birth. She was praying for me that uh, I should give, you know, like, the love, everything. I was grateful. So, yeah, I was weak. I was, is that, is that what I was with? I am grateful. I was weak. I was weak. Very weak. Yes, it took a few hours after delivery for me to, like, regain my strength. When I say I was weak, all I wanted to do was actually lie down. I didn't have so much strength even sitting down. I just wanted to lie down. My husband and the nurse had to like hold me from the delivery room to the room. I was that weak. I couldn't stand on my own. Like I couldn't stand on my own. 
but God was my strength. I can tell you my strength. And God is still my strength. It was even the old nursing state too is actually a lot. If God is our strength. Like I usually tell my husband that I feel like God 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 knows what he was doing when he gave women the capacity, the responsibility to actually take care of a baby, birth a baby and also take care of the baby. Like I tell you, she's not able to shade men. Men can't do it like my husband is like the most caring husband, the most caring father. But at the same time, things that I am more patient in, God, like we are, we, we are actually made to nurture. God is really good. Okay, I think this is the second to the last question. Was, was I feeling kinks? Yes, if I was not feeling kinks, I would have run to the hospital. That means something is wrong. The baby was quite quiet in the, in the womb. I think he, he slept a lot. While he was in my womb, so sometimes I would not even feel kicks as often as I should kick and I should feel, and I would be bothered. I would press my stomach. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, when I sit, okay. But even with that, I was still like quite bothered. Like this guy is not moving my meter. He's not kicking at. Me. I was expecting to be <laughs> So yes, I felt kicks. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was so beautiful. Like always beautiful. I don't know. Probably I'll try to find it. My my son was doing hide and seek with me every time I carried my camera to like really capture the moments when those kicks were very visible. He would just stop, and when I up the camera, he kicked again. <laughs> so I will see. I will try to see if I can get probably a video where he kicked me, where he moved. I will try. If I if you don't see, just know I probably I didn't get one. And um, last question here. Yeah. Your legs were swollen, but were you able to perform your other activities? Okay, my legs never got swollen. I am serious when I say God was so faithful to me during my pregnancy. Like my leg, my leg never ever got swollen, never got swollen, and I am grateful to God honestly because I know that swollen legs in pregnancy is not a good symptom. So yeah, my leg never got swollen. And yeah, I was able to get through my activity, other activities like. But right now, after delivery, there's something I've been experiencing, like a knee pain. I feel like it's because of the pressure, like the weight of the baby, the excess weight of the baby that I carried, yeah, with my weight, we walking and standing and all. So yeah, I'm experiencing sometimes when I when I bend down, I can't kneel down. Yeah, so I really want to appreciate every mother out there. Like it's a lot. But well, I'm just so grateful to God for the grace that he has given. And I want to tell every mother feeling overwhelmed, feeling tired, feeling frustrated that you've got this. And God is with you all the way, all the way, all the way. And I also want to pray for everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Or either you know someone is trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I pray that before the end of this year, you carry your testimony, you carry your baby to full term. And every pregnant woman watching this, or someone connected to a pregnant woman and you're watching this, I pray that there will be no loss. I pray for strength for the mother. I pray that at the right time, at the set time, when the baby is fine and okay to come out, safe delivery for every pregnant woman in Jesus' name. So with that, I've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for these questions. God bless you. I'm sure you act, you have asked like one or two questions in the heart of someone else. Thank you so much. And in case you have questions for me, you have probably a video you want me to talk about, please let me know. Drop in the comment section or any other means that you can reach me. Thank you so much once again for watching this video. God bless you. Till I see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.